Hi friends, good afternoon to all of you and welcome in the today's practical session of third semester course Biochem 231. In today's session, we will try to learn the practical of our first practical session that is qualitative test of carbohydrate. So before the start of our actual practical, so we will see what actually the carbohydrate means. Carbohydrates are nothing but the polyhydroxyaldehyde and polyhydroxyketone are their derivatives. So here what actually the polyhydroxyaldehyde or polyhydroxyketone means, the carbohydrates are containing free aldehyde that is the CHO or the free ketone group called as a C double bond O group. So this aldehyde and ketone group present in the carbohydrates are responsible for the deciding behavior or reactions of carbohydrate. These aldehydes and ketones are present either in free form or free state and sometimes these are also present in combined form to form the complex carbohydrates. So let us start the session that is the qualitative test. So actually the qualitative test means when we are determining the test, so it will indicate the presence or absence of compound in carbohydrate. So, first test is the anthrone test. So, this anthrone test is carried out for polysaccharide. Now, what actually the polysaccharide or oligosaccharide? So, the examples of polysaccharide and oligosaccharide are the starch, cellulose, glycogen. So, for the performing anthrone test, First, we will see the principle. So, anthrone reagent is the reagent which is prepared with the help of uh, the concentrated H2SO4. So, concentrated H2SO4 when react with the polysaccharide, then after there is a formation of furfural and the anthrone reagent reacts with this furfural and then there is a formation of uh, either green in liquid state and in the or the blue color in case of uh, the concentrated state. So let us start the practical, actually the practical anthrone test. So we will perform the anthrone test. So for anthrone test, we will uh, there is a requirement of uh, the anthrone reagent. So here we already prepared the anthrone reagent with the help of concentrated H2SO4 and anthrone reagent. Then there is a need of a polysaccharide. So in case of the polysaccharide, here we used the solution, starch solution and another one, glycogen is also we prepared here. So we will perform the anthrone reagent with both that is the starch as well as the glycogen. So before this, uh, sorry, cellulose. So before this, so we will see the use of starch. So we will take the sample of starch in a test tube, 5 ml of the starch into the test tube. So here the sample test tube containing the starch solution and we have to add the 5 drops or few drops of the anthrone reagent into the sample solution of polysaccharide and oligosaccharide. So after this addition of starch and addition of anthrone reagent is over. Now we have to boil we have, to heat, we have to heat the content with the help of water bath. So instead of water bath, we used burner. So here, we will keep the green color appears. So here, this green color indicate, development of green color indicate the actual formation of green color that is the presence of polysaccharide into the sample. So here we tested the start solution. Now we will see what will happen with the another sample that is the cellulose. Now same test anthrone will perform with the help of the another sample we will try to check that is the cellulose. So here we already prepared with the help of the 
uh, acetone and water 9 is to 1 ratio the cellulose solution and then after in this solution we will add again the acetone reagent After this, we'll boil the container, heat the container of the water bath. So next test is the filling test and filling test is useful for the reducing sugar. Now reducing sugar, the examples of reducing sugar are the lactose molecules. So we'll take the sample is the lactose. So here this is the lactose sample that we add. We are going to add into the test tube, take the test tube, clean it properly and then after add the 5 drops of 5 ml of the lactose solution and in that the 2.5 ml and 2.5 ml of cleaning A and cleaning B solution. So here this is the cleaning A solution. So now I am adding the 2 drops of the A solution and 2 drops of the failing B solution and when there is an addition of a failing A and failing B the blue color forms as the copper sulfate or particularly the cupric sulfate is converted into cuprous and then after when we will heat the content then after it turns into the cuprous oxide which is uh, indicated by the development of brick red color so let us check whether the brick red color develops or not so here we will carry out this test we performed two tests first one and third test and the green color developed and it indicates the presence of polysaccharide in the sample second qualitative test we performed that is the Another test of failing solution and failing test also found observed positive as the blue color converted into brick red that is the development of cuprous oxide and now third test that we will try to perform and we will check whether what will happen or whether that test is positive or negative. So another test is the what as Benedict test. So here, I am using the lactose solution. Let us see what will happen with the lactose solution. So here, in the test tube, I use the lactose sample and in that, I am going to add the benedict reagent. So this benedict reagent is containing the potassium alloside and potassium alloside. So this is a mixture. Sample. So here light nuclear develops. Let us check what will happen to this solution. So according to me, brick red color as this also the solution is containing the ferrous. So here the color should be brick red or red color. So here I Dimension that is the development of this red color or red color and it indicates the presence of sugar. Sample. Moving ahead, we will perform other things for the saving of the test. So, this saving of the test is nothing but the saving of the reagent. This reagent is given for the following two and a This was a problem. So this is the test. This test is going to be applicable to the uh, paper sugar.
So this is the Silvanops reagent. I am adding the few drops of Silvanops reagent into the sample of fructose and after that heat the and let us see which color develops. The red color when the keto sugar is treated with the silicon oxygen and there is a development of the red color and it indicates the presence of the keto sugar that is fructose. After silicon oxygen test, next test that we are going to perform that is iodine test. So this iodine test is commonly performed for polysaccharide. So in case of polysaccharide, we already prepared the solution of the starch so this is the star solution so few ml of star solution that is the 5 ml of star solution and after that we are going to add the solution let us see if we are going to add the solution so we will add the solution 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 Yeah.